Here's a question we all need answered. How do lifestyle changes affect cancer remission, starting with dietary? Well, diet plays a, such a crucial role because you depend on nutrients, mm -hmm. certain nutrients that you're not deriving from the air. Even though the air is the biggest supplier of nutrients, the most air. people don't even think that way. Well, the air is comp comprised of carbon, oxygen, hydrogen, mm -hmm. and nitrogen. Now, these four molecules make up all the vegetation, all the things that we eat you know, if you're vegetarian. So, uh, a plant, uh, an avocado, has some protein in it, so it's carbon, oxygen, hydrogen, and nitrogen. Typical carbohydrates, carbon, oxygen, and hydrogen. So, they combine, they are literally taken from the air, they, they are in the presence of sunlight converted mm -hmm. into carbohydrates, which you eat. All right. And you get some um, you know, nutrients or some minerals from the soil, but that's about it. So most of the nutrients come from the air. We breathe in carbon, oxygen, hydrogen, and nitrogen, and our body converts those into proteins, Protein. amino acids. Okay. So every amino acid is made of these four molecules. So our body is mostly protein mm -hmm. and water. Okay. So when we make our protein, uh, we don't need to eat protein, for example, we make it literally by breathing in air. That's why I've not eaten protein for 35 years, I'm still here. Okay, so you're saying that's a big dietary change right big, there. Big one. That's a huge one uh, because there's a study, uh, the, the, uh, yeah, it's, it's uh, called the China study. Mm -hmm. And there are many, many studies that show that uh, not eating meat, your know, animal products, or animal proteins, will uh, you know, reduce the risk of cancer dramatically. There are so many studies, and you know, mm -hmm. have been for decades now. So it's not something that I make up. Uh, mm -hmm. it's, yeah, it's written in my book, you, know, you can see the references. Um, they are all there. So diet plays a huge role. And now with the new study from the National Institute of Cancer, and 550,000 people showed that the risk of dying from any kind of disease by not eating meat um, you know, is you know, dramatically lower than uh, people who eat like 20% increased risk of dying from cancer or heart disease or other illnesses. So diet plays a huge role. Uh, when you eat uh, the meal times, if mm -hmm. you eat your biggest meal in the evening, like most people nowadays do. do because it's convenient, uh, they clock up their gastrointestinal tract they have a lot of uh, decomposing, decomposed foods in their intestines, rotting foods that then become a source of poisoning the body. Right. And again, you have the, a, a cause of cancer. Um, eating uh, your sweet foods, sugary mm -hmm. foods, processed foods, highly refined foods. Your sugar itself is now recognized as a cancer-producing food All so right. because it shuts down the, the immune system, literally shuts it down. So a lot of kids, a lot of children, develop uh, leukemia and other uh, you know, yes, you know, lymphatic cancers, um, Hodgkin's you know, mm -hmm. disease, um, because they, are, they have been already sh you know, fed with sugar, even while they're supposed to be breastfed for the first year, one and a half years, and they're getting other kinds of junk food. Or they... Uh, they used to put sugar in baby food. They've yes. stopped doing that, but yes. they probably put high fructose corn syrup in. Yes, yeah, you know, refined sugars, and again, they go right into the bloodstream from the stomach mm -hmm. and they you know, produce insulin. And insulin, when you make too much insulin, you are putting yourself at big time at risk for cancer because insulin is a cancer-producing hormone if you make too much. Oh. So uh, that's why there are so many cancers when people overdo it with refined carbohydrates like flour, you know, white, you know, starch, flour. You know, white flour products which also have so many chemicals in them. There are about mm -hmm. 95 chemicals now in white flour. So it's you know, chemicals that are added to food. Then there are heavy metals that people ingest. Heavy metals are also indicated to uh, you know, mm -hmm. you know, cause cancer. Um, dietary is, you know, you know, is definitely a major reason why people get ill. Um, we haven't touched upon the medical drugs, which are mostly cancer producing as well. well. And uh, that your antibiotics, any time you t use antibiotics, you are suppressing the immune system, you are fighting the body. You're not just right. fighting the bacteria, you're fighting the rest of the body. The body is comprised or composed of 
mostly bacteria. 90% of the cells in our body are bacteria cells. Only 10% of us is human cells. Really? 90% is bacteria. bacteria. So instead of causing, mm -hmm. calling ourselves human beings, we should call <laughs> ourselves bacterial beings because that's who we really are. Now, if you take antibiotics and you start targeting the, the, the largest uh, part of our body, 90% right. sure. of the body, you start killing and you create corpses of dead bacteria, what are you going to do with them? Mm -hmm. They have to be decomposed by other bacteria. That means you increase the need or requirement for destructive bacteria versus probiotic bacteria that are helping to digest your food, uh, you know, produce certain nutrients like B, B vitamins. Mm -hmm. So all of that you know, starts diminishing and you create a total chaos in the body. For every antibiotic, any round of antibiotic you have taken, your bacteria population in your gut has been disrupted for an entire year. So it's, it's a very, very serious thing. And uh, I've, I find you know, every person who had cancer or came mm -hmm. to me with cancer, they had uh, frequent use of some kind of medical drug in the past. It's rare that you find someone who didn't use you know, painkillers for headaches mm -hmm. or antibiotics for infections, as if that is a disease. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, many other ailments. So suppressing of you know, functions in the body uh, that are part of the body's healing mechanisms is a big uh, mistake, I would say, um, that is you know, re part of the root causes for cancer.